All right, y'all, we finna react to my boy, Brendan Woods. Uh, I don't know who he is. I literally just came across him today. But uh, from the title and from, you know, because I uh, clicked on his channel and I started scrolling and seeing all his videos. So from what I know, he's a chosen one and he's a real nigga and he's not even black. So damn, that says a lot. He's a real nigga and he's white. You know what I'm saying? Uh, respect to my boy, Brendan Woods. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna uh, react to chosen ones. This is why others cannot wake up or will not wake up. Yeah. Yeah, this is what you think it is For all my chosen ones, for all my people who are really woke And who really know what's going on around us And who really know how to get over And who really know how to uh, conquer the world Y'all probably have been trying to wake y'all family members up Wake y'all niggas up in y'all rotation For the longest And they just do not get it So you have to you have to just say fuck it and leave them Stop hanging out with them Stop, be stop being around them You know what I'm saying? They probably think, oh he's fake Oh, oh you're fake No <laughs> no, you just you just don't get you just don't get what kind of game you're actually living in and you are you are caught up in the daily grind and you are programmed to think that this shit is real when this shit is not. So guess what? <laughs> guess what? <laughs> Skirt! Yeah, nigga. Yeah, we we gotta leave your ass. We gotta leave if you don't wanna if you don't wanna abort the ship, if you don't wanna live a peaceful life, if you don't wanna come on with us under the realm of God and be a chosen one. And be living the best life ever. Oh yeah, shit. Okay, bet we gonna leave you in the dust. We ain't, cause us chosen ones, we don't force nobody. We don't force nothing on nobody. Nigga, if you wanna be, if you wanna be, if you wanna be a demon, nigga, be a demon. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm with the guys. I'm trying to recruit you. I'm trying to give you your wings. You know what I'm saying? Your baby wings. And then you can come over here and start leveling up and leveling up. But nah, you want to stay under the devil's playground. So guess what? Guess what? Again. Yeah, nigga. But anyway, let's get it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Once again, as always, hello to my fellow source beings. Goddamn, um, I be speaking like a pastor, bro. Ones, for those of you that like the Matrix reference. Um, what's up, my G? I wanted to make a little video today talking about... I dig about the shades, dude. I got some of my own. Really I should have put them on because they actually and, go with this jacket. It has to do with trying to wake other people up okay when y'all know waking people up is the hardest thing in the world people uh get in a situation i'm trying to do it on social media right now niggas and, and on here on youtube niggas ain't biting always want to immediately share i'm not gonna force though people close to us with our friends with our family and uh that can be tough because as with anything again the hardest thing in the world spiritual related or not uh unsolicited advice is always going to lead to disappointment it's it's the same as if someone comes to you talking about an issue i real deal i ain't gonna lie to you blah blah, blah. i'd be real deal trying to be a father figure to some of y'all niggas on oh god y'all 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 trust y'all parents so much because y'all been with them since day one and y'all trust the government who we don't even fucking know who works for the government but y'all trust them y'all trust niggas on the news the the news the the fake ass news Oh, yeah, y'all trust all them niggas. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to teach y'all. I'm trying to show y'all why I'm always smiling every time y'all see me. And people didn't ask me that many times. How you stay positive? You always smiling. Up about something they're going hey, through. I'm living my best life ever. It, but they're not being receptive to you because they're not actually asking for <clears> advice. <throat> they just want to talk with someone else about it. Uh, and they want someone to just kind of yeah. nod their head and go, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> and then some of y'all go to therapists too. Some therapists. That's okay. That's overall okay. therapists. They do a good job. I'm not even gonna come for y'all therapists. Y'all do a good job. I know a lot of people get. But I know it's a few of them out there that don't be knowing shit. To the Gotta idea be. That it's like, wow, you know, I give I give great advice, or <clears> you know, these these people came to me. Don't come to me if you don't want if you don't want advice. But I mean. At other times, it's you know people just you can come to me for uh, advice anytime. Ideas My DMs stay open. Someone who's just not even. I don't be on Instagram like that though. So completely unreceptive because you got to use my Instagram to get to me, that they like actually me, not not social media so, me. No, get to actual just, me. <laughs> uh, I would say up until about a year ago, when I, <clears> when I was going through the real extreme phases of of ascension, I would say the extreme uh, uh, parts of awakening where. It's just like we didn't all been through it. Being all those chosen so ones. In my mind, it's so evident. You know, I've got to share. And it's too it. much to fathom at once. Tell my family. Like I've got to tell my friends. Everyone needs to be awake. Everyone needs to know. Listen, I ain't never did that, but uh, 
And, and it was uh, a lot to fathom at once, it, for sure. It's really, it's not true. It's not true. And and honestly, the harder you try with something like that, uh, the you know, more likely it is you're gonna you know hurt in your in your failure. Even though you're not failing to do anything, yeah. it's just you're trying to force your timing over God's timing, which is obviously uh, not the better option, and it's not possible because God. No, it's not even like that. And when it's time for people to wake up, when it's time for people to start realizing what they need to realize, because everybody ain't meant to wake. Everybody's not meant to wake up. A higher level of of being, uh, whether it's <clears throat> happiness, joy, whatever it is they seek. But yeah, whenever yeah, like you are. Happy. And you can't. Yeah, whenever you are trying to get somebody to wake up, or you're trying to drop knowledge on somebody about this this realm and what this what this world really is, you know, this third dimensional world is really five D. When you try to wake people up to really knowing what's going on, that everything is a mind game. Money ain't really in control. Y'all be thinking that money is what you need to survive. If you don't got money, now you depressed. Now you now you doubting yourself, nigga. The government prints this shit themselves. Y'all act like God then sent this money and said, if you don't have this, I'm not going to love you. No, nigga. God going to love you no matter what. Let's be, bro. As long as God love you, I don't see why you are living a stressful life. If you are, that's why I be, uh, that's why, I, um, that's why I stress being connected, being connected to God and being connected to your higher self, because you will never stress and you will never be negative or none of that. You gonna under you gonna start to understand this money don't mean shit. I got God. What do I need this for? Boom. This uh this chain don't mean shit. I got God. What do I need this for? Boom. You know what I'm saying? Like none of that shit really matters, bro. Like I didn't lost shit, and guess what? It ain't affect me in no type of way because it's like, bro, I'm happy without that. I've always been happy without that, and if that comes into my life, it's just extra. That's how you got to think of it. If if I get this, it's just extra. This ain't gonna be, yeah, this ain't gonna be the reason why I become happy. Whether it be a girlfriend, uh, too. And for my ladies, if it's a, if it's a man, that nigga shouldn't come in your life and automatically make you happy. Cause what's gonna happen if he leave? Cause he can leave at any time. He could be the most genuine at, at, up front or he could be the most genuine, the, the, the best nigga that you didn't ever had, uh, from the, from the, uh, get go. But then he end up switching up. Cause you know, feelings change, emotions change. Uh, niggas start to, over time, lose feelings. Y'all know, lose feelings. They start seeing, or, you know, maybe one day, the nigga ended up walking past a batter bitch. Let's be real, because niggas be looking at looks, for sure. So, yeah, things change. And you you didn't rely on this nigga to bring you happiness, because you was depressed before you met him. When really, you should have went, when you, bro, you should have went, and gain or went through the uh, process of gaining joy and happiness from yourself. Then went and got a nigga. Now you gonna be like, okay, I got, I got a, I got a nice little nigga, but he's just extra. Like you know what I'm saying? If he, if he ends up, ends up leaving, I'm still gonna be happy because guess what? I was like this before I met that nigga. And I know a lot of females who's like that. Y'all some bosses? Cause that's a boss ass mindset. Man, I don't need that nigga. I was like this before I left him. And nah, it ain't about you not loving him from the beginning. Nah, when you really did, you real deal loved him. It's just that if he fuck up and do some shit, that's his loss. Cause guess what? I'm still the same bitch with or without him. Same for my niggas. I'm still the same nigga with or without her. So if she fuck up, that's her loss. I'm gonna give her all the love that she needs, and I'm gonna be her be her teacher. Uh, I'm gonna be her happy place, all that. But if she leaves, she fuck up. Guess what? It's your loss, baby. But anyways, yeah, let's get back to it. You can't force anyone into, you know, going through it with you. And that's okay. It's it's <clears> part <throat> of what makes this journey feel so lonely. Uh, it can feel really, really hey, tough. I love being uh, alone. I don't care. I mean, to speak on this a while ago. <laughs> I've been alone for so long, nigga. I do not care. It, and it was like the first, first video I would upload. And I was thinking... You know, I was in a state of like, oh man. That's another thing. You got to get comfortable with being alone. Going through the same thing as me. I'm just looking for people who are experiencing this so I don't feel so damn alone. Because a lot of y'all. Because, I mean. Yeah, you know, what he just said. A lot of y'all is focused on, go through depression. You know, society. Just because y'all are alone. Focused on regular 
schmegular dagular stuff. And, uh, not so much on the power within. And that's okay. That's completely But y'all okay. feel like y'all can't way to be complete day, without for a few another another person in your life. Naturally. And this is where you have to be aware and, and open. I used to be like this right too. I'm not coming for y'all. You know what I'm saying? It takes a while to wisdom with finally upgrade. At times and have it be very, very fulfilling. It, 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 it's, supposed to be it takes a while to get that system update. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you I'm just so lucky that I got it at like 17, you, 18, probably okay, even 16. Yeah, no, what does this mean? Or I heard years this old. and I know you've talked about it. I know you meditate. <clears throat> what does this mean? And you get an opportunity to, you know, to kind of introduce meditation them to about whatever it may be. Uh, that's a beautiful moment. That's a really, really beautiful moment. And I've had a few of those with friends and family since. And it, and it really, I'm telling you, it only happens when you just allow, when you allow it to happen. If I... <laughs> You know, if I called up my dad right now and was like, you need to stop what you're doing. I know you're, you want to retire earlier. You want to, you want to quit your job and do, and do something else. You, you got to listen to me. You got to listen to me. And it's, that made me think of like Rick, yeah, that's Rick a, and Morty. He's like, you got to listen to me, Morty. But, uh, <laughs> he quoted Rick and Morty. But anyways, uh, uh, that's another thing about me though. I don't, I stopped like trying to force shit on people. And, I, uh, and I, uh, basically I like put that idea out there. Like, hey, listen, this is how you become happier faster. This is how you uh start to bring inner peace within yourself. And this is how you start to um relieve a lot of stress. And you just, you know, you start your journey on a better life. If you choose to go with what I'm saying, okay, hey, you made the right decision. You made the right decision. Get, get ready to, you know, live your best life. If you choose to be hard-headed, and stay on that hamster wheel and keep on uh, going through the same cycle and doing the same shit, creating those same bad habits for yourself. I'm going to still love you. I'm going to still fuck with you. Hey, I still love you for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to still laugh and have fun with you, play around with you. But, nigga, whenever you stressing and whenever you going through some shit, don't hit me. Don't hit, don't hit me up. Like, oh, like, bro. I, I, I'm trying to give you what you need in order to live a happier life. And your ass still want to go back and do the same shit that's making you stress again. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't hit me on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I respect you, but don't hit me on that shit. <clears throat> yeah, but that's really kind of how you come off. You come off as like crazy, uh, like almost like you're out of your mind. When you when you come at people with these ideas, it's like. Uh huh. You have to understand. You're, you're a not, weird nigga. You're not you. You're not who you think you are. Who you always thought you've been. You're not. And, and no one's gonna listen to that. No one's gonna listen to that because it's like, who is this guy? It sounds like a bunch of gibberish. You're crazy. Why would I listen <laughs> to a crazy person? I don't care if he seems happy. <laughs> so, because yeah, I remember I used to just, listen uh, to niggas. You really got to allow say it. shit you, like you, this, you and I used to be like, damn, this nigga and, weird. And, and that's really so I know how y'all I mean, think. Isn't that life? That's that's kind of how it goes. Things only come. A perspective. Really them when you release. Or, yeah, a perspective uh, is a perspective, man. Thinking, and we all got uh, different like, ones. Like need, it, it's a need to think that you you need to tell your friends and family that you need to get other people to wake up. That's not a need. There are no needs. You you simply are. You're you're just a being. You're not a human. You're not a mind. You're not you know. We are all spiritual beings living a human anything. experience. Uh, you're just consciousness playing out. You know, consciousness. What he said. Whatever it is, uh, playing out the God dream. You know. And uh, so, yeah, I just I wanted to put that out there for anyone who's like, oh, man, like it's I feel so lost. Hey, he kind of like that dude that me is, Kurt Cobain, is that dude that like committed suicide. Am, no he looked like Kurt Cobain without the facial hair about these things that I'm going through that I'm learning. Uh, no one understands it. Uh, my friends and family, uh, you know, and it's tough because I think I think that's supposed to be a part of it because it's one of those <clears> things that as you learn it, you yeah, don't even try to wake niggas up, though. Like I said, that shit is like the hardest thing in the world. Clear. And, but I just easier and easier to I let people see what I'm doing. Uh, I put myself out there and uh, how I'm living out there. Level where and I and I really expect y'all to pick up on it. So I don't try yeah, to force it on y'all. Just today because, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, y'all have to actually see it to believe it. It really is. That's what I show y'all on my stories and on my Instagram and on here on YouTube. I show y'all that I'm living happy. Uh, I show y'all that I'm physically I fit. That I don't just tell y'all, hey, you got to get fit because, you know, this, this, and that. Nah, y'all see that I'm actually living proof, yeah. nigga. All right. Well, 
Uh, Action speak louder than words. I've always been uh, living in that uh, saying. Action speak louder than words. Have a good day. If this made sense, if you like this, uh, (coughs) comment, share, subscribe. Uh, Maybe tell me a story about what's happened when you've tried to uh, when you've tried to introduce someone to to the higher levels of awareness and it uh, (laughs) didn't quite play out. Let me know. I'd be interested to read that. So blessings to you, my boy. God bless you and uh, peace out. Threes out, nigga. But nah, <clears throat> uh, that was a great video from uh my homie. I forgot his name already, but I'm going to just call him my homie because I like what he was saying. And hey, let me take this out real quick. But yeah, I like what he was saying, man. Um, Yeah, trying to wake people up. It really don't, it just don't happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Overnight. People ain't going to want to listen to you just because you know that you're speaking the truth. Nah, bro, they've been hearing certain things for so long. And now that automatically becomes truth to them. Like the shit that 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 you were once programmed with from being a little kid, guess what? They've been programmed with that since they were a little kid as well. And just like it took you a process to be able to get to where you are at today as a chosen one, as somebody that is spiritually aware and that is uh, on, a, on a higher conscience, it's gonna take them a while too to finally see and to finally catch on. Like, oh shit, I kind of see what 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 my boy Z was talking about like I know I neglected him and I just I just let that shit go through one ear and out the other but now I'm actually seeing it on my TV screen or damn now I'm seeing it you know out here in the world you know what I'm saying you gotta you just gotta let people pick up on it themselves kind of and that's why I said I don't do too much talking I do a lot of getting the action but anyways uh yeah that was a great video God bless him and God bless you for watching this but anyways uh yeah gotta go pick up my brother you know how that goes And uh, we out. Spiritual Gangster, 3 God. Peace.